Good morning. My name is Jim Anderson from the National Weather Service in northern Indiana. The time is approximately 5.45 in the morning on December 23rd, 2022. In the next couple minutes, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of an update on the major winter storm that we are experiencing over the next and through the next couple days. The key messages are that the blizzard warning will continue for parts of the northwest Indiana, southwest Michigan. We'll have a winter storm warning elsewhere. Today and Saturday, widespread blowing and drifting of fallen snow, blizzard conditions near Lake Michigan, and dangerous wind chills. On Sunday, we will remain cold and breezy with very cold wind chills continuing. Mainly north of US 6, we'll see periods of lake effect snow continue through Saturday. Blizzard conditions are likely in this area. Mainly south of US 6, snow showers will be possible through Saturday. And even though we're still not having, we, we're not having significant snowfall, we will have significant blowing and drifting of the fallen snow that we've, we've had over the, next, uh, over the last day or so. True blizzard conditions are less likely. However, visibilities will be reduced at times, making travel difficult. Here's a little bit of a look at the maximum temperature forecast over the next couple of days. As you can see here, on Friday and Saturday, we have very cold temperatures, and especially overnight, we'll see temperatures in the single digits to, to minus single digits. Saturday's high temperatures will be in the lower to mid-teens, but then going Saturday night into Sunday, the lows will be in the single digits to lower teens. Winds will also be strong over the next couple days, especially today, we'll see 40 to 55 mile per hour gusts possible and then 30 to 40 mile per hour winds are possible on Saturday. The primary direction of the winds will be from the west. We should see some significant blowing and drifting, especially on the north-south orientated roads. A few power outages are also possible due to broken tree limbs or trees falling onto power lines. So here's an, a look at the minimum wind chill forecast. So with the strong winds that we're predicting and the cold temperatures, we're gonna see very cold wind chills and they'll be very dangerous. It'll feel like minus 20 to minus 35 degrees uh, today and even into tomorrow. And it'll still be dangerously cold wind chills through Sunday. Keep in mind that frostbite can occur with only a few minutes of exposure. Our timing for the system is still on track and we've got high confidence. We have medium confidence in the snow amounts. However, keep in mind that regardless of the final snow amounts that we get, we still will have significant holiday travel impacts due to the winds and the blowing snow and the wind chills. And so that way we have high confidence in the bitter cold temperatures and high confidence in the gusty winds and blowing snow that will cause impacts to travel. Here's a little breakdown of the, our different products, giving you the definitions of each. That's all I have for you today. This is expected to be the last live weather briefing for this event. It is approximately 545 on December 23rd, 2022. Good day.